Connecting your ESP8266 to your Google Firebase requires a few important pieces of information. Uh, first of which are these four pieces of information. If you look over here, we will need to acquire the Firebase host, which is basically the name of your Firebase project, uh, followed by .firebaseio.com. And then you're going to need this legacy credential, this Firebase auth, and you're going to put the legacy credential in here. And then you're going to need the Wi-Fi SSID, the name of your Wi-Fi network, which will go in here. And then you will need your Wi-Fi password for your Wi-Fi network, and that will go in here. Okay, I'm sure you can get these two without a problem. It's these two that I'm going to focus on. So let's take a look at how do we get the name of your Firebase project. Uh, and what is this link to exactly? In fact, it's the link to your database. And if we take a look over here at a project, I'm on this project. And in this project, the database link is right here. And that's exactly what we are dealing with. So this first part of the database link is the name of your project as I've called the name of this project Legacy API example. So in this uh, particular part right here, this, was, this is where the name of the project would be. In my case, Legacy API example. In your case, the name of whatever your project is. Now, what about this right here, the Firebase auth, or also uh, known as the Legacy credential? So let's go back in here and go to the settings. In the settings, let's go to service accounts and then click database secrets. And then with the database secrets, we can click down here to show the secret. And then we can copy the secret. And that secret is just a string, which will go in right here. And that's it. And then you will be up and running once you put in your Wi-Fi SSID and password and also a personalized password for you to log directly into your ESP8266 as well as any prefix that you want for uh, your ESP8266. This way, if other people are on the network with an ESP8266, you can easily distinguish uh, each ESP8266 from the other. So thank you very much and have a great day.